my life. Stay with this thing for me, Brandon. Brandon, get to the top of that hill. Everybody, welcome in chat. What's up, everyone? Zero. Right off the rip. Gosh, I just I don't even know what to do anymore. All right, we're good. We're good. Sorry, guys. Looks like we had a brief uh, service malfunction right off the ripper there. Right off the ripper, got a brief service, but we're good now. Welcome in, everybody. So we just got LT out here somehow on the highway. But, should be a fun chase today, chat. Let me open up chat here. I, we're going to have a lot of time to just talk here. I started my stream a lot early on purpose. We could all hang out and talk while we wait for potential supercells to fire. Tornado's a tornado warning already. There's that. have a new MD kind of for our area. We're on the edge of the MD. New mesoscale discussion, but yep, uh, we're targeting portions of far eastern Illinois into central Indiana. That's our target today. It's far western Illinois, or excuse me, far eastern Illinois into central Indiana. Should be a pretty active day, honestly, chat be a very active day across pretty much anywhere from Oklahoma City all the way up to Ohio. Uh, let's see. Welcome in, everybody. Once again, this might be one of those streams where I don't talk as much as uh, I usually like to, and I, I'm running on three hours of sleep because I had to wake up really early. We got back at like two last night. I had to wake up really early in order to get into portion of Illinois for this severe weather threat. So I do apologize if I'm not quite as social as I usually am on the stream, but because I'm running on uh, running on low energy here, so good to see you, everybody. Did I get a new camera? No, same old camera. Why? Does this one, does this, does this one look worse? Better? <laughs> does the camera not look good? Yeah, there's a tornado warning all the way by Cincinnati. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Probably expecting storm initiation within the next, I'd say, hour or so. So that's a good, reasonable assumption. Storm initiation within the next hour. And I'm probably not going to go too, too much further here. We're going to keep all of our options in play. We're going to keep east in play in the central Indiana. Also going to keep west in play. Man, the peak tornado today might be around 5 to 6 p.m. in eastern Indiana. Could be way over there, so. We may not want to get baited west by those early storms. We'll have to wait and see exactly how I want to play this, but. Best environment definitely gets into eastern Indiana, I think. In the middle of the afternoon. Just might take a sword a little bit longer to initiate there. 
have to wait and see. Looks amazing. Oh, okay. I mean, heck yeah. If it looks good, it looks good. <laughs> Guess I won't complain. Amazing and clear. That's what I like to hear. Hello, everyone who's joining. Welcome in. We're heading eastbound on I-70 right now. Probably gonna get towards Effingham and then we can do a little evaluation. See what the wafts show. Gonna be looking at some models here. Guys, I started driving at 6.30, 7.30, something like that, one of those two, and we've just been cooking ever since, so. We've just been cooking ever since, man. Yep, this is good. Uh, we could definitely see isolated tornadoes today anywhere from like Arkansas, Oklahoma area, up through Illinois, Missouri, and eventually into Indiana as well. Got a huge 5% tornado risk. Big hail damaging winds also likely with this setup here. And so uh, we just got a, a mixed bag of all severe weather hazards in play. Really interesting day if you're just tuning in. Very, very interesting day. I could even see a strong tornado happening across portions of central Indiana. That's really my target is central Indiana, but it's a little more conditional that storm's fire over there, so. That's really my target is central Indiana. Already got construction to start the stream right off the rip. See, the sun is out. We're up to 75 degrees here, so we're definitely starting to see surface heating. A bow echo kind of went through this area. A little morning convective complex went through this area earlier this morning, and that caused uh, some, some remnant stabilization to remain present, but starting to erode. Model uncertainty on where exactly storms are going to fire first. Just going off of these wafts. Big shear in place. Big shear in place for these storms to work with. tornado threat could be anywhere from where I am right now all the way into western Ohio and we're just gonna have to get sort of lucky but also strategically pick which storms we want to get on and why so I'm just gonna kind of do what I always do position myself in between the targets until we have to really choose one it's gonna be a lot easier to come back west than it is to go east so we are keeping that in mind storms are gonna be moving about 50 to 60 mile per hour west to east so it's gonna be really hard to catch storms, but it should be very easy to fall back west and get storms if we need to. So we have to take that into consideration today, Chad, on where we want to position ourselves. We may also be the only chaser in central Indiana, so we may want to do that just to cover that area that no one else is covering. But we're gonna play it by ear. Know where you think you're going, buddy. I'm just looking at a couple of models and they're all over the place on what exactly is going to happen. Might have to 
have to play than Illinois because I don't know if we're going to get to Ohio in time. Most of these wafts have the big stuff in like Ohio. It's crazy. We're probably going to get towards Terre Haute. Give us a little more options in terms of what exactly we want to do. Sorry, right, I think our side, I think our camera was crooked there. <laughs> All right, let's read some chat here. What's going on, everybody? Sorry, I had to look at that model there to figure out what I wanted to do, but I do want to read some chat here. What's up, everybody? How's everyone doing today? Thank you for the super chat, Bryce107. Appreciate that. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Should be a fun chase. Like I said, we're starting a little bit early, but that's just because I want to kind of talk with you guys. already tornado warning in uh, Cincinnati area. Early start to the day over there, it looks like, chat. Early start to the day. No, we're just going to keep cooking through Illinois. Getting in position. Up to 77 degrees here, chat. It's getting warm, according to, according to my car. Uh, radar says 75, but still getting a lot of surface heating here. That is going to help our storm chances a little bit later on for sure. Incredible supercell. Brooksburg. Is that on the ground? It's observed too. Wow. Can't believe it's actually a tornado over there. Got an observed tornado all the way by Cincinnati. It's incredible. Well, if that's a, if that's a sign of things to come today, then it's going to be a pretty wild day, I guess. Where do I live? Uh, Northern Indiana. Oh wait, your stupid chat had a question? Sorry. Oh, I sorry. What's the biggest risk tonight in Bloomington, Indiana? Yeah, Bloomington could definitely see uh, all hazards tonight. Damaging winds, some larger hail, and maybe a tornado or two in Bloomington. Um, so definitely stay tuned to the weather in Bloomington. Thanks for the question, sorry. Can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in on the radar. I mean, the radar doesn't show anything right now anyway, but. tuning in. We're heading towards general areas, Eppington, Illinois, and eventually maybe Terre Haute, positioning for the severe weather event. Likely going to kick off within the next hour or so. We'll see our first signs of convective initiation. All severe weather hazards, including tornadoes, on the table today. Nice surface heating ongoing. Really love the way this looks, not gonna lie. 
Already got stuff trying to fire back in Missouri. Then we'll push a little bit further east and we'll see stuff fire east temporarily here. Got a lot of wind shear in the atmosphere to support tornadoes, but it's not exactly um, favorably oriented, okay? So there's not a lot of turning of the winds with height. You have really strong speed shear, but your directional shear is not that great. So usually for tornadoes, as you go up with, with height in the winds, you want to see turning. So those winds go in different directions, a, a different direction in a clockwise motion. But today, they're all going pretty much the same direction, okay? All of our winds, surface, 500 millibars, 700 millibar, are all going pretty much up to the northwest. And so there's not a lot of turning in the atmosphere. Now, there still could be a lot of spin in the lower levels, but overall turning, there's not a ton. And so that's what we just have to look for to see can our strong low-level shear surface heating overcome the fact that we don't have a lot of directional shear. Yesterday, we had a ton of directional shear. And that's why we saw a big old beautiful white tornado on the live stream. They threaten not so much, but we have stronger shear. So just a different type of setup today than what we saw yesterday. If you guys are just tuning in, make sure to smash that like button. We are getting close. We look like we're 700 subscribers away from hitting 25,000 subs. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Carry a barometer? I do not. I do not carry a barometer with me. Good question, though. Good question, though. It's going. Severe warnings are going nuts down there in o Oklahoma. But I think that may end up just being more of a hail threat down there. May end up being a majority hail threat down in Oklahoma. Personally, they have the 10% hatch tornado down there, but personally, I think uh, that the higher tornado threat is up here. Thank you, uh, Mariah Maria. Mariah. Tornado watchers, bro. Why do you keep retracting your message, bro? <laughs> what are you doing, dog? What are you doing, brother? Yeah, uh, hopefully we can we can get another tornado today if there is one. But a severe or a tornado watch is likely coming for portions of Illinois and Missouri here shortly, and probably eventually into Indiana as well. CC drop an Indiana storm? Yeah, that's probably a big tornado over there. I mean, that's insane. Yeah, man, what a storm on, on radar that looks like. Wow. That's just incredible. I wonder if anyone's getting video of that or not. video of that storm. Dang. Probably close to convective initiation here shortly. And, uh, I think I'm going to park it right up here for now. Might sit a little bit and look at some observations. See if we want to continue going into Indiana or if we want to see what these Illinois, potential Illinois storms are going to do. Early, ap early afternoon tornado.
storm chaser before. Um, I've been storm chasing for like three, three years now, but this is my first year going like full time. What's up, Sharon? Welcome in. Do good. I will try and do good. I will try my best to do good. So he's starting to get some cumulus here too. here too starting to get some surface winds blowing the car around you guys are just tuning in so to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed we're heading towards Effingham where we're gonna do a nice little analysis and then we'll continue picture of the tornado on Twitter in Indiana right now. Dang. I guess that's what our environment can do today. Very capable environment. No, we'll wait until we get into Effingham to get off. But I am going to get off chat and sit for just a little bit so I can dive into some data. So we can just go and go and go. Yeah, but we got a confirmed tornado. Right on the Indiana Kentucky Ohio conjunction. No toll road, that's true. That's a good thing. Can never complain about not dealing with toll roads. That's always a good thing. are blooming, heck yeah. Nah, no, 
nothing in Iowa. Thermal state critical, really? How are we, how is the thermal state critical already? That's insane. Guess we'll blast some cold air up here. Chad, if we go out, that means our thermal state is critical on the, on the stream phone. So. I don't really know how it's critical. It doesn't even feel hot, but. Thermal state is critical. Day for a while, maybe so. We gotta make it count, chat. We gotta make this chase day count. now. No, the FBI did not come after me. Chad's back to chase the storm. Heck yeah. Storms are firing up in east north of home, uh, Oklahoma. Yep, yep. Where's Reed? Uh, Reed's chasing the southern target. Would have been a lot easier for me to chase the southern target. A lot less driving. I just like the northern target a little bit better. Hurricane season could be crazy this year. We do chase hurricanes too. south here. It's, it is only one o'clock, but we should get initiation pretty soon. It looks good out here.
Got good moisture up here too. 60 dew points. Much better dew points than yesterday. by me. You want to speed up to the same speed as me? Go on, buddy. Come on. Let me get over, big dog. Trying to get off here. Maybe like a five minute quick breakdown here so I can look at some stuff or we can look at some stuff. I'm going to stay right off the highway here because I'll probably have to get right back on it. Good. What's for dinner? I don't know. Do you not know what could be for dinner? All right, let's look at some stuff here. Let's pull up uh, the H Triple R, the newest one. Not the 14Z, the 17. All right, so here's what we're looking at. So here's what's like right now. We got the stuff going down here in Oklahoma. We got the morning stuff, including our little tornado warn storm over there. And we should get storm initiation within the next couple of hours, maybe right down south near St. Louis. So we could blast back for those. But we're also going to see storm initiation up here in the portions of Indiana. And those could be better for tornado. So... Right now, I'm kind of just sitting along the line, debating which area I want to really target because this area of Ohio could be the best for tornadoes overall. But it's a kind of a, a wait and see type of game. And then as we go into the night, things get a little less organized. Still looking good over here in Ohio though, at zero Z. We may have to just get all the way over there. May have to just get all the way over there. Super Soul Composite definitely favors this area over here for the best environment. Seems like the wrap favors that area as well. I guess the wrap favors the entire area. Hmm. Look at our satellite, you can see we're trying to get storms to fire already. Right over in this area right here, we're starting to see storms attempt to go. Probably still a little bit of a cap. Maybe some attempts up here as well. These ones could go. Those ones look like they're pretty close to going actually. May want to keep going. Just stay in position for those. See, let's look at the wafts. Oh shoot, we're down to five percent on the tablet. Whoops. Got five percent battery on the tablet. Uh, nope. We want the the eighth. We want the fourteenth. Eighteen wafts are coming out. Domain two. Radar. Come on, buddy. You can load. Good afternoon, everybody.
you're in Indiana yeah I mean Indiana is definitely an interesting target I just want this to load really not sure why the wasps won't load there we go new wasps start to fire stuff down here it looks like yeah, all fire stuff down there in Missouri but I don't think I'm not really interested in those storms too much I think we're just gonna keep pushing onward, chat. Gonna keep on going on. There is a smudge on my windshield that I wanna take care of though. Gotta get that smudge out of there. Looks a little bit better. Yeah, guys, so we're kind of have to play the long game here. I'm not gonna lie to you because the storms that I wanna chase are not gonna fire for a little bit of time still. So we're kind of playing, kind of playing the long game a little bit. So I'm gonna keep on going towards Terre Haute. Just gonna keep on going to Terre Haute here. So hang with me, chat. He storms fire a little bit later. I'm gonna go straight here when the light turns. If the light ever turns. in the wheel. <laughs> the guy behind me wasn't too happy about my decision, but whatever. on going on chat gotta keep on going on what's up almighty goat got tornado warnings in Oklahoma yep tornado warnings are in Oklahoma all right bumpy highway chat bumpy highway this guy is a weenie who's a weenie my weenie maybe I'm a weenie patient long game today chat but I figured I would just go live anyway 
because why not? Why not? Yeah, most of the WAFS members have storms forming in Indiana in the hours. So those will be our storms probably. So that's what we're going to run. Why are we not have service in the middle of One bar of Verizon, really? In the middle of a city? One bar of Verizon in the middle of a city is crazy. That's crazy, chat. It's insane. Dots back on. wasn't working because I was looking at something on my tablet, okay? We're not doing anything. The blue dot will come back on when we're doing something. I'm sorry, but like, who cares if the blue dot's on right now? <laughs> like, come on, dude. Like, chill out. Yeah, Verizon does stink. But, we're good. Going through f and going towards Terre Haute. Baseball-sized tail. Wow, yeah. I'm sure some of these storms do have baseball-sized tail. Sorry for popping off on you there, Storm Clear, but like, man, it's off for two seconds. People freak out. You're in Southern Illinois? Yeah, Southern Illinois could definitely get on the action. I'm interested to see if they issue an MD for Indiana soon. Getting tense in here, yeah. Sorry, I'm snap there a little bit. I was like just trying to look at something on my tablet. The blue dial was off for like two seconds. Blue dot back. Never fear. Blue dot is back. Definitely got some cumulus here. I think it's going to fire to our north though. Be safe. I will appreciate that. Uh, I'll listen. I'll listen on. Sheila, enjoying the ride. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Yeah, this is a great time for me to Yeah, Landon, I'm shooting. Uh, I'm going to get to Terre Haute. Maybe reevaluate everything. And then uh, I'm either going to shoot Indy and North or I'm going to go back towards St. Louis. I haven't really decided. But I'm on 70 right now. I'm going to get to um, yeah, Terre Haute. But I like how some of the WAFs, WAFs start firing stuff in northern Indiana. I think those are going to be the uh, Ohio supercells. So I kind of like how some of those WAFs look. Bend over. Love you, Connor. Appreciate that bend over. Thanks, buddy. I got, got I get in the storm chasing. Um, I was just always interested in weather. I was actually scared of tornadoes when I was young, and then I, uh, I watched the Weather Channel a lot. That got me interested. Then I watched Storm Chasers with Reed. I mean, near Effingham to start. Yeah, I just went through Effingham, so maybe I may just go right back to Effingham. We'll see. A lot of long. 
long way to go and a long time to get there. True that, brother. Just gonna keep looking at these wafts. this may go linear pretty quick but we do have some nice UH swaths all through Illinois and into Ohio and everywhere in between Could be southern Illinois too. This whole area could just get lit up. Ohio, Eastern Ohio, not Eastern, excuse me, Western Ohio. What? Why are we in starting soon? Okay, never mind. Got an ad. Western Ohio could get in on the severe weather and tornado threat later on this afternoon. Yeah, it goes all the way to like Danville. Probably extend, it'll probably make another one. Probably expand that. It's like the St. Louis radar just came back up, chat. It's kind of big. Louis radar was down for like forever. Looks like it came back up just in time for today. It could be huge. Time over there, it's uh, 12, it's 152, 152. Yep, do have a tornado watch now, so I guess we'll change our, our text to tornado watch. Looks like there's a blip going up near Jefferson City and another blip going up near Bloomington. We're just going to keep cruising. What's up, 
kitty cat chat. Storms are starting to get going. news is, is the further east we get we'll still be able to drop back south and west to get on these storms pretty easily so be interested to see how storm interactions play a role in today because we could have a lot of updrafts go up at once and we could see mergers similar to yesterday which really helped fuel that threat for tornadoes. I like our positioning right now though I really do. Really like our positioning. Charlie, appreciate it, man. Yep, I, I wouldn't rule out a, a significant tornado somewhere today. Well, you give a quality of our highways report? Yeah, I mean, this highway is okay. We're not shaking around too bad. Head to Arkansas. No, we're not chasing Arkansas. Chasing Indiana, maybe Illinois, maybe Ohio, but definitely Indiana. What's up, Jenna? Safe chasing, appreciate that. Thanks for tuning in. What's up, Annabeth? Gonna keep on cruising. Careful. I will, Glenn. Appreciate it, man. We're going to be careful, and hopefully we're going to be on any tornadoes that do happen today up north. Stop spamming all caps, bro. Don't stop tagging me. Listen, brother. Chill out on the all caps and chill out on the, the spam me. I'm looking at radar right here. I don't I don't need the don't need you telling me what's going on. Got a car that would vibrate every time it exceeded 55. Yeah, I mean the camera doesn't vibrate much, it's usually just when the road is bad. But uh yeah, probably your alignment. Mitch says we're going to get five tornadoes today. Well, we'll see, Mitch. Hopefully, if we do get five tornadoes, they don't really impact any big areas. Hopefully, they impact low population. Okay, come on, bro. What are you doing, big dog? Are you getting over or not? Oh, okay, there's a semi on the side. Whatever, I guess that works. Dude, you got about two seconds to get over, buddy. 
Vale, para ver. Ok, microchip. Understandable. Alright. Don't let them know it bothers me. Well, it, it doesn't bother me. I just look in the chat and it was, it was spam, basically, so I just deleted it. Less all caps, more cloud caps. Yeah, Lord. He's got the right idea. Sorry to hear about that uh, microchip. Sorry for, sorry for putting you in timeout. I had no idea. Studies nozzle. Appreciate you, Craig. Cracked axle. Wow. Yeah. Uh, where do you hope your studies knowledge of whether we continue to take you to help and impact meteorology? Well, hopefully, we just keep growing the channel, we keep on chasing, and hopefully, eventually, we'll get to the point where we can use our use our platform to improve science, kind of like Reed does. guys tuning in though we're just we're playing the long game today so I just gotta play the long game good evening Raven we're in good position for any storms that fire now right here where we are great positioning What's up, Leslie? Sorry, but some of the chat rules are a bit stringent. I don't even know what stringent means, but this chat has, like, no rules, so... <laughs> literally, the only rule in this chat is don't spam and don't do politics. Like, that's, that's literally the only rules of this chat. Greg, uh, the storm structure last night looked like an apocalypse. The storm structure last night was incredible. I was... Easily the best chase of the year. Lord Bass, welcome to Bear's Cage, brother. Appreciate you for supporting the channel, man. Appreciate you, man. Yep, yeah, gotta watch out for the big rigs. True that. What about all caps? No, I mean, I don't care about all caps unless you're just spamming it repetitively over and over and over. Like, if you want to type a couple messages in all cap because we're on a tornado or something, like, I don't care about that. But if you're just, like, tagging me in the case of uh, that the person who was doing it in all caps telling me what's happening somewhere, I just, I don't really need to see that, so. But no, all caps is not really a rule. Like, the chat rules appreciate it. Yeah, well, I try and keep a free and open chat. Thank you, Leslie, for the 20. Appreciate you. W, Leslie. Let's get the W's going for Leslie. W, Leslie, and W, Lord Bass. Thank you, guys. Appreciate all you guys.
big dubs. Where's my home base? Northern Indiana. Yeah, I mean, that'd be, that'd be crazy if we could see something as uh, cool as yesterday. Diarrhea would be my biggest fear as a storm chaser. Leslie, or not Leslie, Basil, I'm not even going to lie. That is a, a legitimate fear storm chasing. If you're in the... Okay, it's not as much of a big fear like chasing in Indiana or something like that. But if you're chasing in the middle of Texas and there's nothing going on, like middle of Texas, no gas stations, no nothing anywhere, and you have to, you have to go like that, that is not a good situation. Not a good situation. Usually you're just cooked. Oh, Lord, bass? <laughs> bass like guitar. Or bass. I don't, you gotta forgive me. I'm on like two and a half hours of sleep. My apologies. I'm just gonna call you Lord. How about that? <laughs> Lord. Satellite still cooking, Chad? We still cooking on satellite? We're definitely still cooking on satellite. Slowly but surely, we're going. interesting to see the newest wafts when it comes out. The new, new one. The most accurate cam models of recent are actually not running today, and so I wasn't able to use them in my forecast. Some newer, newer cam models that just came out. What's up, uh, J Money? What's up, Fan Man? Welcome in. Welcome in. Stuff to go over here. We have tornado warnings in Oklahoma. We had a tornado warning in southern Indiana, Kentucky. Good road network in Indiana, so that's the good thing. Really good road network. Largest pitchfork, largest golf tee, largest wooden shoes, largest mailbox. All at this exit. Oh, uh, where's Ben? No, Ben. Uh, ben had Ben has uh, had class in the morning, so Ben Ben stayed back in at his house in Kansas. No, well, in Missouri. He lives in around Joplin, so Ben Ben could not come with us on this chase. We ditched him a little bit.
Thank you, Annabeth. How's my gas? Doing good on gas. Just got a full tank before I started the stream. Yep, all about the instincts. At least it can be. Most memorable chase ever? Um, that's a good one. That's a good question. I'll have to... Uh, probably Rolling Fork, but for all the wrong reasons. Rolling Fork, but for all of the wrong reasons. Sad chase day. Pretty much committed to this Eastern Indiana target now. I like the way it's looking. Should get there just in time. Like the way this Eastern Indiana target is looking. I really do. definitely a nightmare really was not a good situation I mean it was a it was a crazy chase good tornado I mean I saw the tornado it's a crazy wedge and then you just get in the town and your your heart drops just realize a lot of people have been impacted by that tornado How does the experience of a summer chase compare to a winter blizzard? Winter blizzard is just more calm. You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's calm, it's enjoyable the whole time. You're just driving around in snow, you, you help people out. It's just, a, it's, a, it's a calmer chase. The summer one is more of an adrenaline, a stressful chase, but I love it. You know, the tornado chase is a bit more stressful. How long have you been working with Reed? Um, I started working, working with Reed in like June. I met him before that. Tornado behind me. Shoot, I better, I better floor it then. No, I think there's a tornado somewhere in Oklahoma. Tornado warning down there, yeah. That was nothing too crazy impressive looking though. Turn into a big old squall line down there. Looking at, I'm happier and happier I didn't chase that target. Happier and happier I decided not to chase there. playing a big gamble going this far east. But sometimes you just gotta gamble. Sometimes you just gotta put a little gamble in chat. For storms, not actual like betting. YouTube, don't don't take that the wrong way. Don't take that the wrong way, YouTube. Not not encouraging actual gambling. It's got to be Eastern Indiana. Just got to be. Big time speech here, photographs. Very, 
very favorable for tornadoes. Assuming you can get the right storm to take advantage of that atmosphere. Analysis is looking pretty solid too. We uncapped yet? Yeah, we pretty much fully destabilized the up here. Pretty much fully destabilized, chat. a red light counter man that's gonna be a lot of red lights Reed's awesome I, I mean I, I can't say enough good things about Reed nothing but great things to say about Reed so yeah I love working with him no yawning today all right KLS I got you it's gonna be hard but Heck yeah, Monty. Chase your dream, bro. Just go for it, man. Oh, no. My water bottle just hit the steering wheel and just splashed me with water everywhere. Cold water all over my shirt. Oh, wow. All right. Now I'm awake. Wow. Wow. Alright. Now I'm awake. Nope, nothing about the Kansas toll again. I haven't got anything. We'll see though. We'll see though. See if it comes a little bit later. Florida Tornado, Kentucky. Now? I don't think so. It's only severe warning. Yeah, my, my shirt is all wet now.
watching all the streamers. Today's a good day to do that, I guess, because everyone's spread out. Yeah, maybe I need a sippy cup. Says our location. We're in Marshall, Illinois. It's 72 degrees. I'm heading towards eastern Indiana. Eastern Indiana into western Ohio, potentially. SBC I'll look here soon. Should get the newest SBC I look coming out. Probably just gonna blast through Terre Haute, honestly, towards Indy. I'm just gonna keep on going east gonna keep on driving never stop driving never stop driving towards your target See an upgrade from the SBC. We could see an upgrade. You're from Warsaw? Nice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Oregon Beach Dad. Hopefully we'll have 1K. Yeah, we definitely I mean we will. I mean we're averaging like 400 people in here and we're just chilling driving, so it should be a good stream. Especially once we get on something cool. Yeah, I could I could be around Fort Wayne, probably south of Fort Wayne, but Never stop eating red 40. <laughs> no red 40, Sammy. No red 40 for you, buddy. Nah, fan man. Most of them, most of them don't, but I try not to get too mad because from someone who drives a lot, heck, I space out in the left lane sometimes, so... easy to do. It's pretty easy to do. Yeah, Bob, and we had uh we had we had the tornado live on stream. Strawberry UK fan club. Welcome in, Foz. I left this truck go a little bit faster than me, so cop, copper will get him. Not that I'm 
going at crazy speed, but I always like it when someone in front of me is going faster than me. Tube guy, see you later, brother. hail down south. They, they really should go enhanced. Like, they really should go enhanced for us for parts of Indiana and western Ohio and maybe uh, parts of eastern Illinois. Like, they, I think they really should do it, chat. I'd be shocked if they don't. Game plan is we're shooting, uh, we're shooting east. We're shooting east right now. Really liking the environment in central and eastern Indiana. And we might be the only chaser way over here, I'm not sure. But we're just driving, just cruising. We're just cruising. <laughs> no, I don't usually give an arm pump to the truck drivers, but maybe I should. They appreciate you, brother. That was a good stream yesterday. Definitely was a good stream. Forty-five through this construction zone. That's crazy. That's crazy, chat. Jefferson City is severe warned, but it's again not too interested in those ones back there, honestly. That was a short construction zone.
Santa Cruz. Awesome to hear shampoo. Glad, uh, I'm glad I went live early. I could have just waited, but figured I might as well go live early, because why not? Just hanging out with you guys on my drive makes it a little bit easier. Or Indiana chat, or I think we already did. I already entered Indiana. I didn't see a sign, but back in the home state. Back in the home state today. Been everywhere over the past like week, and now it all all comes back down to Indiana and maybe Ohio. made good progress on it from when I was last year. Hopefully we get to Indy just before rush hour. So I don't really feel like going through trying to slingshot around Indy at rush hour. Probably wouldn't be in our best interest. Nice southerly winds here pushing my 
pushing the Camry all around. Nice Southerlies. Lovely Indiana roads, yes. So lovely. We're in Indiana. Good old Terre Haute. I'm from Indiana, so. Northern Indiana, though, not this part. like the group with itself. We just kind of all went our separate ways. Tornado. Oh, is that an observed tornado in Kentucky? By chance? Radar indicated. Radar indicated tornado in Kentucky. Indian living Kokomo. Okay. Yeah, I may have... I may have uh, end up close to both of those areas at some point. Probably Kokomo on my way back home tonight or tomorrow. We should be like literally less than 30 minutes away from like really starting to see storms initiate across Illinois and maybe northern Indiana as well. So we're getting close. the SBC outlook, the new one. It's not coming out. Wow, man. 60 in the fast lane and the 70 is crazy.
that answers my question. Nope. I say if we stayed three lanes, I was getting far right. Watch it from North Carolina. Welcome in, Shelly. Yeah, guys, if you're just tuning in, we're just we're heading towards portions of central and eastern Indiana. Looks like the best environment's gonna set up there between about 5 and 8 p.m. Should see storm initiation relatively shortly. Arkansas, maybe. Arkansas, Oklahoma area. But man, they're all embedded. HP. What a mess to chase. Right now, I'm pretty happy with how things are looking for us, chat. Like, I like, I like how things are shaping up. Not missing a down south yet. It's still early. Could Slingshot through Indy. Hanging in there in chat. Thank you, Tony. Welcome to the Bears Cage, brother. Uh, give me an early morning chase, I guess. I prefer daylight chase. Anything with daylight. So by early morning, you mean like 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I'll take that all day. John Davies. Welcome to the Bears Cage for seven months. Let's go, John. Appreciate you, man. Fabulous gentleman. Proud to be a member. Proud to have you, John. Appreciate you, dude. Really, really do appreciate you, dude.
does a tornado tell time? Um, uh, it's maybe it's like, is it something to do with it spinning? Twisting? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know the answer to that one. Michael, two, two, two. Thank you for your first ever super chat on the channel. Thank you for the twenty bomb. Appreciate it, brother. W's in the chat for Michael. Appreciate that a lot, man. And uh, I checked the tornado watch. I don't know how I didn't think of that one. That was an easy one. Didn't even think of that one. further east. I don't disagree. Certainly don't disagree. Got a little lightning on our storms to try to form to the north. Those could be the ones right near, right north of Urbana. Those could be it, chat. Got a little bit of lightning showing up on radar over there. Could be starting to approach showtime. Time to lock in! Time to lock in. to Northeast Indiana it looks like the money spot right now. The certified money spot. I'm gonna try and get to like Muncie. See how bad the traffic is in Indy. already oh brother that could be a problem traffic in Indy could be a problem could not afford any traffic in Indy oh dang it man not afford that.
hope that the traffic holds off. Just gotta hope for that. If we get stuck in any, any traffic, then uh, our chase will not be in good shape. upgrade it man it shocks me it shocks me
big time clearing on satellite. That clearing across parts of Indiana into Ohio as well. Really starting to clear out. Really starting to clear out. stabilized pretty nicely over there. We got some bubbling cumulus right ahead of us. understand half of what I'm saying. Do I sound like a robot? Does it keep cutting out? Is it doing the robot cutout thing? Sometimes it does that. We're getting upgrades to the whole system coming up though, so... Appreciate it, chat. Thanks for letting me know. Cool beans, chat. Cool beans. Heck, this, I mean, we're doing really good time wise. Like, I really like the position we're in. We're also getting through this garbage Bloomington area terrain. The freaking woods here. We'll be out of this garbage for our chase. We'll be out of this garbage. Eastern Indiana chase terrain is very, very nice. We're going to Eastern Indiana today. never killed anyone. all good chat it's all good we're getting on this thing man moment of storm fires over here it is ours ours for the table
got some storms going up back by St. Louis. Don't look terrible. Look like more like hailers to me, but this could also have a tornado threat. tornadoes in my short storm chasing career so far. Short but dominant storm chasing career. they removed the risk of strong tornadoes in the newest outlook for parts of Arkansas. Nice. Let's see, how's the traffic in Indy looking? Better, worse, the same? It doesn't look too, too bad. It could be worse, Jet. Looks like the traffic could be worse. More brakes on the highway. Let's go. Indiana. I'm looking at Muncie right now. Best shape to chase in? My favorite's Colorado. What's up, Bill? More brake lights on the highway. Just what we're looking for. pushing chat. I know it's a slow start to the stream, but I think it's really going to pan out for us later on. I really think it's going to pan out for us.
in, chat. Lock in. Lock in, chat. Tracy is locked in. Let's go, Tracy. Lock in. She's locked. These semis are really locking in on trying to cause accidents. Let's go. Sharon is locked. Allison is locked in. I've never seen more brakes on a highway in my life. <laughs> McDay's, you thought it was Chad. Oh, that's hilarious. No, Chad is you guys, just referring to you as a whole. Referring to you guys as a whole. That's actually funny. Thank you for sharing that. Michael is locked in. when the semis play leapfrog. It's like the semi that's going 0.3 miles per hour quicker than the other semi has to get ahead. so I can identify my target target. There's so much traffic on this road going this way for some reason. I wonder why. 
It's only on this side. There's like no cars on the other side. I wonder why this side. What is different about this side of the highway? Like we're going east. There's semis as far as the eye can see. again leapfrog you just had to do it had to cut the person off front of me that leads to brake lights that leads to slow down that leads to accidents honestly i'd be shocked if we get through indianapolis at the rate this is going like holy what is blood doing R has initiation within the next wow that looks good wow that looks crazy A triple R has initiation within the next hour and a half right where we're going Feeling it, chat. I'm starting to feel it. Oh man, this could be a good afternoon. And probably about the 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time time frame. Just looks like it could be insane. Got a nice nose of 2000 K punching up here. Nice three cape developing too. Don't get me wrong, it could still bust, but feeling good about it. Got a big time shear over in Ohio too.
stretching it north. time yes we are yes we are we're cooking Get into Indy. Now it wants me to go south around the city. It's like there's traffic no matter which way we go, and now the south way is the fastest way. Save seven minutes, apparently. We'll see. I guess we'll see. seconds so I can reconnect my Verizon hotspot. This thing always is disconnecting. be fixed. Hopefully it stays connected this time. We're running just, just an AT&T powered stream there for a little bit. Three of the semis, holy. Oh my, never mind. There's like 30 of them up ahead, but for now we have a little a little stretch of no semi activity.
4.5 miles until I get on the, the Indy. the Indianapolis radar now. Like literally right next to it. Yeah, I know this is probably getting boring, but we're, we're slowly getting there. Just part of fun of storm chasing, unfortunately, is sometimes when you take a little bit of a, of a risk like this, you have to wait a little bit.
slingshot and right around Indy. We're making it in time. I didn't think we were going to, but we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. We might just be able to do it. Official target of Muncie.
see a couple of blips on radar near Lafayette. That could be the beginning of initiation. how this entire area has been under construction and there's not I've not seen one single worker actively working on it. It's just sitting here under construction. Nothing getting done for a 20 mile stretch. Oh yeah, blip's going up. Storm's going up directly to my north. Storms are going up near Lafayette. We got blips. We got blips. Things might be getting going. Right on cue. Stay in your lane, semi. Things could be getting going. Right on cue. Oh yeah, those are getting agitated. Yep, about to get initiation, I think. As long as we can get through Indy here, we should be in a good position.
60 mile per hour movers legit. get ourselves to Muncie. It says an hour to Muncie. That could could be just in time. May have timed this perfectly as long as the traffic up here isn't too bad. If the traffic up here is bad then we might be in a little bit more trouble but Eastern Indiana, Western Ohio terrain is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna have full views of this storm as long as there's service. got explosive initiation ongoing. From Lafayette to Marion. going north of Lafayette it looks like. We're slingshotting around Indy right now headed towards Muncie. Look at this. Going up. Alright dude if you're going to go 60 get out of the fast lane please. Thank you. Supercell heading towards St. Louis. This tornado warrant too, but doesn't look too impressive. Wind shear is weak over there. We got initiation. Let's go. Peapod, welcome back to the Bears Cage.
Yeah, Shelly, I'm alone today. Michael222, two, two, two. welcome to the Bears Cage for two months. Appreciate you. Happy Pi Day to you, too. Sorry if I missed anyone else. I'm locked into this setup now. Showtime. Sorry, chat. We're getting bumpy. Getting bumpy with it. Looks like we got a nine minute traffic delay up here. We'll see. Nine minute traffic delay. the yellow approaching the yellow traffic zone Kidding. Looks like we found ourselves in the slowest lane. Awesome. Just brilliant. Oh 
please Indy traffic don't cost us please please Indy traffic I'll do anything Already got some dark DBZ up by Lafayette. Muncie is going to be literally perfect. All we got to do is get there. good progress actually surprisingly we're actually kind of doing good chat we're kind of doing good we're making it slowly and surely storms continue to go up like crazy near Lafayette explosive development Gonna have to issue, they're probably going to have to issue this watch. This looks good. This is on the uptrend. Let's go. We're doing it.
Lightning. Lafayette Storm has lightning. Lafayette Storm has lightning. Let's go! Should be pretty much home, should be pretty much clear of the traffic now. Exit 37, let's go, we made it. We made it, chat. We made it through the city. That was about the only thing stopping us from getting in position was there was really bad traffic in Indy and we, we sort of uh, managed it. It wasn't great, but we got through it. by Lafayette with a lightning bolt. More construction, can you believe it, Chad? Can you believe that there's more construction right here? Can you believe that? What a, what a shocker. What a shocker. Muncie. 
get in position for these. We're making it. Right, and just saying that's what it was. Except it was rush hour plus construction. I feel like it was mostly just construction. I feel like it was mostly just construction. the new WAFs, worn on forecast model, really short range model, has these storms right here exploding in the supercells. These will be capable of all hazards. See, so how is the middle lane going the slowest? <laughs> like, like how, how, how does that work? Oh, it's because of this, 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 just this guy right here. Meet him north of Muncie.
go. Look at him go. Getting on it. Ah. Uh, let's go. Finally popping off. I setting up today we're setting well we're not really setting up anywhere we're just cooking right now we're cooking off to the east trying to get on these storms forming up to my north heading to Muncie we're heading to Muncie Big fan of Indy? Yeah. Well, not a big fan of Indy when I have to drive through it, otherwise it's okay. This has been a grind so far, chat. This has been a grind, but hopefully it's about to pay off form of a really nice storm. guys a little bit of time to mature chat and that'll be perfect
grinding. I keep grinding. good time now so now we're making good time we're just cruising chat this is perfect we're gonna cruise east alongside these updrafts As they strengthen, we'll just be rolling right alongside them. Shot north. We do have a couple tornado warnings back towards St. Louis. One of those cells looks decent, the other one not so much. think we have the storm for the day once they get organized. It's like we already got uh, echo tops up to 35,000 feet on these. Echo tops up to 30,000 feet. They're getting up there. Oh yeah, widespread echo taps up to 30k. base right in front of us. A little cloud base right here, Chad. Look at this. All 
we need is one of these updrafts to root and become a supercell, and we are so golden. Just one of them. spinning already. That's how much shear there is. guys I know I'm pretty quiet I'm just really focused on figuring out my route here and I'm also exhausted so I do apologize I know I'm being pretty quiet do apologize chat but we're getting close to these storms developing now I came to Springfield Illinois why wow, these storms look good severe warning on our severe warning there it is there it is we got a severe warning Our storm is now severe warned. Let's go. We got a severe warning. likely a tennis ball sized hail. Let's go! It's our target, boom. Told you, you just have to be patient, Chad. I told you. I told you I knew what I was doing. Let's go. We've driven all day for this. Finally got our first severe warning. Now a tornado watch. Oh yeah, already a mezzo. Literally already a mezzo forming north of Kokomo. Our storm literally already has a mezzo on it. <laughs> oh. Gonna try and meet it near Portland. Portland, Indiana is my target meetup point for this storm. They're moving at 60, so I have to play this very carefully. Once you get behind, you're done. The good news is we do have a good road network. Just kind of have to, we're gonna have to play this like a Dixie chase. We're gonna have to get ahead of the storm and stay ahead of the storm until it really looks like it's gonna produce.
Play this one out like a Dixie chase. on it. Severe warning on our storm. We're just tuning in. We're just south of, or just I should say northeast of Indianapolis shooting towards Portland, Indiana. We have a supercell that's now severe warning. Tornado watch was just issued. All hazards are going to be possible at this. If you're just tuning in, make sure to smash that like button. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. We're 700 subscribers away. Hitting 25. 25k. We might be missing tornado warnings back towards St. Louis, but those haven't produced yet, and the wind shear is not as good there as it is right now. So those still may produce, but even if uh, even if they do and these don't, I'm still pretty happy my target here, but it's time to lock in. Get ready, chat. This is going to be a very difficult chase. It's going to be very hard to stay with these storms. We have a, over half a tank of gas left still, so we're good on gas. I'll top off if I think there's time, but there probably isn't going to be time. on our storm already. Chat! Oh my gosh. It's happening. We have a good mezzo on our storm already. Wow. Echo top soaring. Shoot. Both of these are now severe warned. What was that? Look at this mezzo. Look at our mezzo forming already. Took literally 20 minutes for this thing to get a mezzo. All right. Had to be patient. Just had to be patient with me. Yeah, it's moving east at 65 miles per hour. Apparently, this is going to be like a one, and we're going to have like very few chances to get these. building to the north now. We're looking directly at him.
just tuning in, we're shooting north. Severe Warren storm to our north, has a mesocyclone on it already. We're the only ones out here up in northern, in, northeastern Indiana. It's gonna be tight, but I think we're gonna have a chance to get them. You can see the towering cumulus right in front of us. Both of these severe warm storms do have a mesocyclone. Wow, those are nukes. Those are nukes going off. Look at that. Look at that bomb. Explosive development. They're just tuning in. We're approaching severe worn storms portions of northeastern Indiana, I would say more central Indiana, south of south and west of Fort Wayne. They are absolutely cooking. We're going to have to angle our chance to intercept very closely. They're going to be very hard to intercept. Look at our storm. That has just exploded. What I tell you guys, explosive development. mergers I think we can get a couple mergers yeah there's a couple different mesos there if we can get like a merger or two we'll be gold maybe a bigger supercell that'll move a little bit slower as well instead of one of these that are just flying look at that thing Tuning in, we're heading north towards these absolutely 
explosive thunderstorms developing just to the south of Fort Wayne. Gonna need to get a couple mergers, I think, for these to really utilize the environment, but we'll see. We'll see. Good road options here. 2.2 miles, I get off. Bumpy road. Dude, look at that, chat. Look at that. An absolute bomb. Highway, you know we've been having service problems, so service might get sketchy, chat. We've been having some major uh, problems with our connection for some reason. I haven't had time to really figure out why since I've been on the road, so just bear with me. It's time to get on this. development happening just to the south as well so that will help us if we have to if, if we have to get you know on a different storm there's new development going on to, to the south so we are gonna have multiple target options it looks like a new development just north of Indianapolis so if these ones up here if we lose them or they they don't look good they're gonna look good though can always drop. Ooh, that means I was wrapping up near Marion. Yeah, that one looks like a beast. If that merges with the forward flank, we're gonna be in freaking business. Unbelievable storm. He's 
lights are not going to help our cause. <laughs> These lights are not going to help our cause. Look at that. It's like 30 cars in front of me. This is not ideal. As long as they go 55, we're good. getting a merger yep that thing's about to go nuts I think probably get on that fast man I wish I were just sitting out in front of that one tornado warned tornado warned Storm is tornado warned. We just gotta get on it now. Alright, lock in. I'm gonna try and get us a road here north. Right when that merger happens. just too late. I'm going to be mad. I think we should be okay. I'm going to take State Road 3 North towards Hartford City. State Road 3 North. 4.7 miles. Tornado warning guys, on our storm. Just gotta get to it. As soon as I turn north in four miles, we'll have a good visual of it. Just gotta go though, man. Just gotta go. Come on. Gotta get going. So many people on this road for no reason. our state road will be empty. It's our only hope. Oh, come on. We gotta go. Might be better off just going to Portland still and getting way out ahead of it. I don't know. Probably just stay patient and get ahead of it. 
probably just stay patient and get to Portland. Get to a good road network. miles I'm shooting north chat could be a good decision could be a bad one I want to get on this thing it's looking really good it's gonna be an isolated supercell in a crazy and sheer environment multiple updrafts CGs are increasing We just need to go. We just need to go. 1.7. Come on. Come on, guys. Help me out here. 10 year turn oh my gosh we cannot catch a break wait you can only turn bro what here we go here it is Why there's so much traffic in rural Indiana? It's rural Indiana on a Thursday afternoon. What is going on? It 
it's 55, guys. I promise it's 55. What are we doing? Why is there a huge conga line? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my mind. We're going 44 and a 55 right now. Incredible storm. Incredible looking storm. Look at that thing, it's massive. Massive supercell. Oh, that's cranking, it's about to produce. It's gonna produce. Oh, we gotta get there, it's gonna produce.
getting on it. We're gonna meet it. As long as we don't have like a 30 minute stop in Hartford City, it's a little town. As long as we can get through that town quickly, we're gonna get it. It's like it took a turn right. May wanna take a right in Hartford City and reposition ahead of it a little bit. towards Portland, our original target. Come on, come on. This thing is, we just, we just watched this thing blow up. Absolutely nuclear development here. New tornado warning. I think it's turning a little bit right. Still radar indicated. New tornado warning on this. city to make sure we stay ahead of it for the next cycle. Going up just north of Indianapolis. Got to keep an eye on those as well, but for now we're going to track this one. take a right here. I think it needs a little bit of time. Just needs a little bit of time to wrap up.
looks like it's just getting looks like it might be getting a merger it's doing something weird looks like it just got a little updraft merger that or it's just could turn into an HP monster already that or it's already HP Just tuning in, we're just southeast of Marion, Indiana. Tornado warning is in effect. Beast of a supercell. Getting in position to intercept. Just smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. This is the road I was going to take. Alright, I'll listen. I'll listen. I don't know if I believe it, but I'll listen. ahead of it a little bit. Things moving fast. Do you not want to fall behind before it produces? Right, right at me. It's our road. This is a good road right here. It's a great road. Look at that thing. Look at it. Just gotta stay a little bit ahead of it. Super Duty. I need you to go to the speed limit, big dog. I need you to go to speed limit, Ford Super Duty. Come on, buddy. Just need the speed limit, big dog. That's all I need. That's all I need. As long as there's nobody under this hill, I can pass. Stay ahead of it. This thing is moving. Wouldn't be worried, but it's moving at like 60. Huge CG increase. Huge CG increase on this. Right near Van Buren. Van Buren.
21 miles, I shoot north and we'll probably just go straight for intercept. Big uh, hail spike on this as well. Big hail in the storm. So got a little bit of hail spike. TBS. Got a TBS. If you're just tuning in, we got a, got a tornado warning. that's turned right so far. It's the only right moving supercell. Almost looks like it's going hail down there right now. Definitely reorganizing. Definitely reorganizing its structure. Service might get a little bit sketch right here. We are uh, now in the middle of nowhere, Indiana. So just tuning in, we're about to intercept this tornado born supercell. Probably less than 15. Get a good look at it and we'll probably have to run away. Get back out ahead of this thing. miles. For now, this is all we got is this view right here, just dark. You're going to shoot north. Crazy wind shear for this thing to work with. Crazy speed shear. taken over. It's not ideal. I don't think I can catch the north one. I'm not gonna be able to catch the north one, so this is this one needs to get its act together. That north one is out of my reach, it's already too far gone. I'm gonna need this to be the one. Three point one, three point one miles. Looks like it's trying to wrap again. Still no visual. Point 
seven. Here we go. Final, final descent on this thing. Looks like it's wrapping up. Here we go. Heading right for Keystone and Nottingham. Wrapping up. Big disorganized looking lowering. Big old lowering. Going through Penville right now. Penville. Just gotta get through this little town. We should have visuals of it. Oh yeah, it's wrapping up. Velocity increasing. Big hail on this thing. This thing is a monster supercell. We're gonna go to State Road 18. Gonna watch it come at us for a little bit on State Road 18.
rubber here. Oh yeah, big lowering. Oh yeah, big lowering back in there. On the left edge. Back in there is a lowering. For a second. lowering in there we're gonna look at this for a couple seconds and then shoot north look at that thing ripping it in flow Oh, 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 look at that. Of course, someone's coming down this road. What are the odds? What are the odds somebody's coming down this road, bro? Look at that in there. All right, get ready to shoot north. Getting ready to shoot north. So this guy passes me. Oh, it's wrapping up. It's wrapping up. They need to issue a new tornado warning. issue a new tornado warning on this heading right for Keystone and Nottingham right for Keystone and Nottingham lowering right there can't quite even see the base yet I don't think huge hail spike on this as well born, got born for golf balls Just tuning in, 
I have a tornado, a potential tornado, tornado one storm directly to my north. We're getting on it. Gotta get to State Road 18. Looking for a view. Just want a view. All the views are off to the, the right, not the left. Right over these trees, of course, we can't get a view. left and then we can watch this thing for a couple minutes before we have to we have to go see I'll go left I'll go right here so I'm just facing the right direction already and I'm just gonna pull off right up here based on velocity nothing looks too imminent right now so I might try and blast ahead of this but we can stop and watch it for just a couple seconds it is. Somewhere back in there. right there. It's hard to tell. Big inflow into this. right there but can't make out if it's anything or not definitely something right there though definitely something right there I'm gonna blast the head again. Blast the head, get in better position. Well, I don't think it's producing now, but it looks pretty mean. Definitely gonna have the potential to, so. And it's moving, guys. This thing is moving.
big inflow. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Where are you? It's gotta be wrapped in rain. Buried in rain. Gonna have to wait for it to pop out, or it's still just radar indicated, so it's not confirmed. Kept going now I'm behind that semi. Now I'm behind the semi. Should have just kept going. New 
tornado warning. Still radar indicated two inch hail on this thing. Probably have to play in the Bears game. Ryan. there yet. Just not quite there. It wants to. You can tell it wants to, but just something holding Something just holding it back.
if I really want to see what's going on. That's probably what we're going to do. Get in there. I'm going to keep following this road. Right at this light, chat. Right at this light, chat. I'm gonna pull over and we'll get a good view of this. And we might let him get ahead of us and then hook slice. Might have to pull a hook slice maneuver. A couple of amateur storm chasers here. It's back in the rain, the actual rotation. Unless it's just barely rotating. It could be this, but it's not really spinning. So that makes me believe it's back in the rain over here. Which would make sense. Eventually it's going to cross our road, so we'll hook slice. Big motion on this still though, it's a fast moving storm. Might be back in here. Might be the base right there. This thing is cooking. somewhere buried in there. That is a big and scary looking bear's cage. Yeah, that's, that's just a beast, man. Uh, that's just a beast of a storm. There's no intention of revealing what's inside. No intention. HP a mess. Just sitting there watching that, we already let it get ahead of us, so time to go. how fast this thing's moving. This wall of white. Big hail with this. I gotta keep it by the booster. Gotta keep the phone by the booster.
get into the bear's cage here. Mezzo's dropping a little bit south. A freaking horse? Horse and buggy in this? Oh my gosh. We're in Amish country now, I guess. It's heading right into J City. Gotta be in your safe spot, Jack. get into the bear's cage here. About to get into the bear's cage. If you're just tuning in, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Only one's out here in Indiana. Tracking down the storm. Two hours of sleep. Right, I mean, look at this. The mezzo's directly to my north, and all you see is bear cage. All you see is hail and rain. There's another horse and buggy. Man, these guys gotta go. Mezzo's weakened a little bit actually, but still got a mezzo on it. Okay, just strengthened again. Thing like goes through like cycles. So, they'll be somewhere off to the left there. Not visible. It's ridiculous. 
so rain wrapped. Spiking too. This thing's this thing's it's an HP monster now. Hang in there, chap. Hang in there. Right here. Cross in front of us eventually. Metal keep slowly drifting south. Somewhere in that rain.
the RFD. Still no visual. Ready to hook slice if we need to. Gus Nato right here. Well, Gus Nato right here. Gus Nato action. Well, Gus Nato action in here. Perfect spot. We are in a perfect spot. Not a perfect spot for service. Radar indicated tornado warning. Sorry right, if the service is getting bad. We're going through a dead zone. It'll get better when we get towards town. There's a town coming up. This thing is somewhere right here. Big, broad mezzo. Big, broad mezzo on this thing. No tornado on the ground that I can tell. So rain wrapped. That's the mezzo right there. Right there, that's the mezzo.
spinning right above us. Wind shift. Wind shift. Wind shift. Big wind shift. Somewhere off to my left. Might be like right in front of me, literally. Big wind shift. It's got a huge wind shift. This thing might be like right in front of us. That was weird. Sending right for Selena. Really weird circulation. Really strange. A big spin up right in front of us. Almost. Coming down. Tornado coming down. Right there. Tornado's trying to drop. Right there. Tornado's trying to drop. Right there. Big funnel. Big funnel. Wow, right in front of us. Trying to drop. Big funnel still. Of course, it's right in the mag. There it is, there it is, big funnel. Big funnel on the stream right now. Might be disorganized again. That was a tight funnel for a second. Wait, so the wipe is broken, dude? Or what? Couldn't tell if it was on the ground, but that was a big funnel there for a second. Clear slot is wrapping around up top. Beautiful clear slot. 
Beautiful clear sly wrapping in. Beautiful clear slot. Beautiful clear punch. Somewhere in here. Heading through Selena. Selena, Selena, one of the two. Sane Mezzo. Insane mezzo. Power's out here? Like power's out. Wow, this thing is ripping. Incredible mezzo. Look at that. Power's out here. Huge RFD cut. Not quite close enough to see it, I don't think. This is to my north. I don't think it is. Somewhere right there. I think you guys can see the contrast a little bit. Big broad mezzo. Had a funnel, could not confirm ground contact. As soon as uh, I can go, I can get us back into the bear's cage. It's right up here. be right in front of the car. Come on, man. Oh. No. Need this. Come on. I need this. I need this. Green! Please, green. Please, I need you. I need you to go green right now. No, not green turn. Please, I need it to go green. Come on. Go green. Go green. Look at the mezzo in front of us. Oh, green. <laughs> this is the longest red light of my life. Sirens blaring. We're back on it. Got a hook slice. Got to go fast. All right. Where do I go, dude? Oh, my gosh.
needs to stay right there. Oh, it really, oh my gosh, it's gonna, it's gonna plant down. It's gonna plant down, I'm not gonna be able to see it. No! Unless that's it. I don't even know. miss it because that town god dang it man it's literally gonna drop but i'm gonna miss it because of the town unreal big inflow huge inflow on this thing huge wind no way there's another Might be it right there. Might be a tornado. Could be a tornado right there. Oh my gosh, you kidding me, dude?
What is going on here? Yeah, it's a big tornado. Something right there. That's for sure. It's a clear slot. Debris right here. Debris everywhere. Tornado somewhere in here, I think. Debris everywhere. Major RFD. Incredible mezzo. My, that town might have cost us. Not sure if it's on the ground. Big mezzo right in front of us. Hook slice successful. We're back. That's another, just another huge mezzo, man. Just like yesterday. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Just another massive mezzo like yesterday. Power flash right in front of me. Power flash right in front of me. Literally it was a power flash right here. Yo, tornado off to our right, I think. Yo, what is this? Might be something right there too. Can't tell what that is. There's a couple off to my right now. Literally a couple off to my right. That could be a tornado right there. I can't go any forward though. There's a power flash right in front of me. We're in a radar hole. Can't really see what's going on. Yeah, there's two mezzos. One there, one in front of us. What the heck is going on? That might that might have been a tornado right there. Watch that. That's a new wall cloud, I think. New mezzo right there, whole new couplet. Along with this one in front of us that we just saw a power flash on. Two tornadoes, guys, there's two tornadoes. One is definitely on the ground, saw the power flash, it's rain wrapped. The second one, we just saw the funnel. 
two tornadoes with this. Two tornadoes here. This one is still on the ground. Big couple on radar. Rain wrapped entirely. Big wind. Watch it off to the right for that one, the second tornado, the plant again. That was a funnel cloud off to the right. Possible tornado he just had. The storm has two mezzos. Insane. Tornado somewhere in front of us. These people gotta be careful, man. Tornado right in front of us somewhere. Literally right in front of us somewhere. No visual. We're within. The, we're literally within a mile of it. Power flash off to the left. I think that was real lightning. Confirmed tornado. Confirmed tornado here. All power flash in front of me. Dude, I cannot see this thing to save my life. Somewhere right in front of us, man. No visual, none. Insane mezzo lightning on this. This is probably a strong tornado. wind somewhere right here somewhere right here dude somewhere right here Dude, we're stuck between two mezzos right now. What is happening? Stuck between two mesocyclones. Developing tornado off to my right, I think. Yeah, that's a that's a funnel right there. Whole funnel developing. The circulation is still directly next to us somewhere too. Why on what is happening? What is going on, dude? I want to get out ahead of it so I can get on the other south circulation, but I can't get out ahead of this because the other circulation is like on the road up here somewhere. They, this is literally insane. There's a tornado somewhere right in here. Could be off to our north now, maybe? 
What is going on? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that mezzo. Look at that mezzo. It's somewhere right under there. Tornado somewhere right in there. No visual. Tornado somewhere right in here. <laughs> Second tornado is trying to touch down off to my right. Second tornado is trying to touch down off to my right. Second tornado coming down. Trying to come down right there. Right there. We're in the RFD of one. We're looking at another one. Not on the ground yet. Where's this one at? We're just straddling two mezzos right now. What's going on? One is rain wrapped, one to the south is not. No visual still. I mean, I'm literally directly south of the circulation. No visual. Should be right here. Major winds blowing across the road here. Wow! Big RFD. Somewhere right in here. South one's trying to come down still. entirely rain wrap right here somewhere entirely rain wrap huge circulation trying to get to the south one South one's actually visible. So what do my roads look like? Load, man, load. Gotta know what my roads are. Holy RFD. Can I go south here? Not really. Ah. That was a big tornado right in front of us, somewhere. Dang it, man. It's so close to seeing it. Bill might have twins somewhere. Somewhere buried in the rain here. PDS warning. Back to radar indicated. We also saw a tornado forming to the south. I've lost visual of that tornado. Still two couplets on radar. Two couplets on radar still. No longer have a visual of the circulation of the south. Wait, there it is. I have it. Not on the ground, doesn't look like. It doesn't look like it's on the ground. off right here by chance go south out of this ah whatever let's go for it see if we get a visual of the south circulation ah 
Ah, we missed it. Gotta get back on and follow this more. So we're getting HP again. Trying to, trying to freaking put the pedal to the metal. New circulation forming behind me. Gotta get back on this. Somehow. Problem is this north circulation keeps freaking scaring me. So rain wrap. Okay, this is it's some insane RFD. Like what? Ain't RFD, man. Big RFD blowing me everywhere. Right in front of me. Still no visual. About to head into a town. Hopefully it doesn't hit the town. punch through this town. It's like a new tornado developing over here somewhere. Watch over there, chat. New tornado. Trying to develop over there on radar. Watch that closely. That one might be rain wrap by now. Who knows? This one looks, looks like it might have lifted. Close eye on them over there, chat. Could be a new tornado trying to form. Big mezzo on radar. Might 
Might have it. Might have it. Bowl lowering. Bowl lowering right there. Right there. Big mezzo. Wow. Oh shoot! Tornado! 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 Right there! Yep, on the ground! Right there! Tornado! Big tornado on the ground! Right there! Big tornado in progress! South of Wakona or whatever, however you say this, Ohio! Big tornado now behind the trees! Big tornado in progress. Big tornado. Huge mezzo. I might have lifted just as fast as it dropped. Can't see it in the rain anymore. I'm gonna drop south, see if I can get a visual. Wow, that's a big tornado. See if I can go south and see it. Right there. It's got a big board to see, right there. Yep, debris, debris, right there. Debris cloud.
rain. We're losing it to rain. Can't see it anymore. Wow, there it is. There it is. Tornado in progress. Just lost visual. Hopefully one of these roads I can like uh, actually get on. Follow this thing. Where's my phone? Tornado's still in progress. Just went through Freiburg. I need a road. I didn't realize this was such a big highway. I thought I would get a road soon. Nah, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. None of these roads allow me to go, I don't think. Bridges, dang, I'm stuck going south. I'm stuck. I might be stuck for a while. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. miles till an exit. Somewhere in there. There's a secondary storm that's like chasing me down right now. another circulation like coming at me right now like I can't get off look <laughs> the second circulation coming right at me there okay that one's rain wrapped entirely this one is coming right at me it might not be second circulation is literally almost off to the right new new storm new circulation right here can't get off Dropping? It's dropping a new tornado? This will be heading towards Botkins. New tornado is trying to form right there. What is going on? Okay, well, yeah, we lost visual of the first tornado, completely rain wrapped now. It is strong, heading near Russell's Point. Observed tornado. Probably a stronger one, just by based on what we saw. Okay, I'm gonna get off in one mile and watch this new circulation. That's, that one is buried in rain. That one was absolutely buried in the rain. Okay, hang with me, Chad. We got a new circulation literally behind us. Trying to drop. Just gotta get to the exit. Gotta get to this exit. Right there. Heading right for Botkins.
What is going on today? I like three circulations on us at all times. Yeah, the Waynesfield one is still on the ground, but I can't get to it. It's buried in rain. We got off that highway. This is a new circulation. I'm just going to go after here. It's so warm right here. Somewhere right there. Somewhere right here. It's coming right at us. Coming right at us here. on the ground buried in that rain it's a dangerous situation here you guys are just tuning in and you're enjoying the stream so to smash that like and subscribe button for more live storm chasing big wall cloud forming on this now Definitely getting more organized. What does it look like on radar? Getting more organized. Gotta look at the radar real quick. It's trying. I mean, that's still a huge tornado on the ground up near Russell Point. Oh, I shouldn't have got off the highway, but I wanted to see it. I guess it worked because we did see it, but could still be tracking it. Somewhere right in here. Yeah, that circulation is right there. This is the last daylight, last daylight look we're gonna get. such a monster tornado near Russell Point. Such a monster. It's, it's so rain wrapped. It's not even funny. It's, oh my gosh. That's not a good situation at all. Russell's Point. You have a probably strong tornado. Completely rain wrapped. Heading right for Lakeview. Russell Point. And Lutown. If we take a look at correlation coefficient, tornado debris signature right here. This tornado is on the ground. It is completely buried in rain. There's no way to see it. No way to see it coming. Gessel Point, Huntsville, Lutown. Gosh, this is not good. It's not good at all. We gotta get there probably. While keeping an eye on this tornado. The circulation's off to my north now. We're good to go east. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not good. 
good, guys. <coughs> we saw that tornado that's heading for Lakeview. We saw it. It condensed into a stovepipe. And then we saw it with the dusty vortice on the ground. We saw that tornado twice. And I assume that it's much bigger and much stronger now than it was when we saw it. Just tuning in, got a large destructive tornado on the ground about to impact the community of Lakeview and Russell's Point, Ohio. You have to be in your safe place. This is a strong tornado. And we also have a little tornado attempting to fire to form just to our north. Possible tornado trying to form just to our north. There are two circulations. One is on the ground. We have seen it. We saw the tornado. And now there's another one trying to form right next to us. Focus, you stupid thing. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I didn't know we were out of focus. My bad, we're back, we're back. Yep. Oh, this is not good. It's in the rain. Bury it's buried in rain. Just buried. Also, tornado warning back to our west as well, near Winchester. Somewhere off to the left. Somewhere off to the left. I stress it enough, Russell's Point is in the direct path of this tornado. Russell's Point and Lakeview, Ohio. Cannot stress it enough. So it's probably a powerful tornado. About to cross Highway 33 and Russell's Point. I, I would blast for it, but there's a circulation directly to my north that I do not want to put myself in the path of. I'm in a really weird situation here. Really weird situation. Probably just need to do it. Wow. Trapped by, been like trapped between circulations all day. This thing is electric. Electric storm. Right into Russell Point right now. Russell Point. Huntsville, you're next. Huntsville, you're next. Large rain wrapped tornado. We're not going to see it coming.
there's a tornado trying to form directly to my north right now. It's about to cross in front of me, actually. Once this crosses in front of me, I can blast. Circulation is on top of me. Here's the RFD. Circulation is in front of me somewhere. Right in front of me. Gonna get some big hail wrapping around this. Big hail. If I drive in this, I'll blow out a window. All right, looks like we're we're out of the hail. Wow, that was oh, just kidding. Yeah, there's gonna be some new dents there. Oh, easily golf balls. I thought I saw a tennis ball roll by. The tornado is still on the ground. Still a small tornado debris signature right over Lakeview and Russell Point. Ooh, still freaking hailing. be able to catch this one guys here let me break it down for you 
We're not going to be able to catch this one. In order to do that, we'd have to bust through the hail core and the new mezzo. And uh, I'm not losing glass on this chase. So we're gonna drop south to this tornado worn storm near Winchester. We're gonna go get this new tornado worn storm near Winchester. This one is still on the ground. This tornado is still on the ground. Can I zoom in please? Russell's Point, that is still on the ground. This tornado is still on the ground, okay? But we have to leave it. And get in position for this one. If this hail ever ends. Oh my gosh, we're still getting hail. Yeah, the tornado confirmed all the way up north in uh, northern Ohio too, but we're gonna go to the Winchester storm. We're gonna go get this Winchester storm. It's heading kind of towards Dayton. Let me put in the route. Let me put in the route. It's heading towards Dayton. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, there's a bunch of golf balls on the road. Oh, it's still coming down. Oh. Yeah, this thing is turning into a massive hailer. Chad, this thing is turning into a massive hailer. I'm waiting for radar to update it. Yeah, I think Russell Point is still on the ground. We just can't get that one. We have to drive through baseballs. We weren't even in the biggest hail on that storm. Best bet is to drop south towards this new tornado worn storm near Winchester. Got a decent looking mezzo on it actually. Our best bet. That's what we're gonna do. Chad, I told you Ohio, Chad. I told you. I told you Eastern Indiana, Ohio. I told you just be patient. Two tornadoes on the board. But unfortunately, the one seems to be strong and one is moving through a town, so I really hope that we can before that, that town. Really hope that it weakened. It says radar indicated warning, but really hope that it weakened. Time to go south. New tornado warn storm. Going for a new tornado warning. Stick with us. Going for a new tornado warning. We got a little bit of hail fall. Oh, debris right here. RFD debris. Gotta watch out. There might be some big limbs down. Looks like it's just leaves for the most part. That RFD was intense. That was wind driven golf balls. Definitely have some new dents. Definitely have some new dents. But, I mean, hey. Alright, gotta get back to this highway. 
in three miles we go south again new tornado warn storm near Winchester new tornado warn storm it's another dangerous storm are we on auto focus again anyway I don't know why we're on auto, but see we're on this one we're going to this one new tornado warn storm right near Winchester about to cross New Ohio heading towards the Dayton area Okay, these storms are still going to be capable of producing tornadoes. Still going to be capable of producing. You can see the tornado one when we're on right now. We have to leave it. No way to catch it. We're behind it. It's moving too fast and there's big hail. So we're going to go south to this new tornado warm storm near Winchester. All these tornadoes today, for the most part, have been extremely rain wrapped. Most part, extremely rain wrapped today. If you guys are just tuning in though and you're enjoying the stream, really appreciate it if you guys could leave a like and subscribe. We're trying to grow our storm chasing channel here. And I think last time I looked, we had like 4,000 people. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream and hopefully nobody has gotten seriously hurt by these storms. It's never the goal. But uh, this day is not done because there's another big couplet near Winchester. Observed tornado. Okay, our tornado is observed. So the cell we're going for has a confirmed tornado. Observed tornado on it. Near Winchester. Winchester, you have an observed tornado headed your way. We are about to blast south and get this. About to blast south and get, get this storm. It's also warned for baseballs, so... You have to be careful of baseball sized tail. This chase, unfortunately, is probably just beginning. Got three, three observed tornadoes. Three confirmed tornadoes on the ground right now across Ohio. Okay, we missed the frog. Poor little frog was running across the road. The last thing I want to do is hit a poor frog. All right, we got to blast south on this highway, like 30 minutes to get in position, maybe not even that. Observed tornado on the storm. Observed tornado in Winchester. Literally, it's probably moving through Winchester right now. Look at it on airport radar. See it well on the airport radar, so that's what I'm gonna be using. All right, let's get on it. We're on a direct beeline course. We're gonna meet it north of Dayton. We're gonna meet this thing north of Dayton. Tornado on the ground. Lock 
Lock in, chat. Lock in. Need you guys locked in. This one's even more discreet than the other one. This is a really dangerous looking storm. PDS, PDS. PDS tornado warning, Winchester. We're gonna get on it. PDS tornado warning, Winchester. Particularly dangerous situation, it's our storm. Dayton. fast. already. We're already in the path pretty much. We're going to have to get south and then go east. Get south and go west to get into the path of this. It's heading right for Greenville. Tornado's heading right for Greenville. Right for Greenville, Ohio. And it's going to go towards the northern side of Dayton. path of this thing. Confirmed tornado, particularly dangerous situation. 
coming right at us. Let me fix the focus. green bill. observed okay now that one's not observed anymore that one is still up there still might be a long tracker up towards ashland ohio and then we got the r storm right here we just had an observed tornado for quite some time now observed tornado for quite some time Grind it south and get on it. Sometimes you gotta keep grinding, chat. This one might not be rain wrapped either. Looks like it's on the ground to me, and it's probably not rain wrapped. It's heading down the north side of Greenville. Way we're making a beeline right for it. Observed tornado still. Greenville, Ohio. Had it right for you. Got to be taking shelter in Greenville. The lightning from that Greenville storm is flashing all the way over here. That's how powerful it is. with no cracks on the windshield, so that's a, that's a plus. Not that hail, anyway. I did see a couple damage pictures on Twitter, and these tornadoes are probably not weak. So these are strong tornadoes doing damage. Bone grinding. Powerful tornado heading right. I mean, like, it's. Oh, it's not good. Just big tornadoes today.
this is going to be interesting. This supercell is heading right for the Troy Airport radar. This is going to be really interesting. Guys, my blue dot's going to disappear because I have. I want to use this uh, airport radar, and uh, Radar Omega won't let me if I have my location on it. won't let me go to the airport radar. So my blue dot is not going to be on the screen from time to time when I'm looking at airport radar. But it's for my own safety since there's no other close radars. It's gonna, it's gonna hit the north side of Greenville. <coughs> we turn in 3.6. Turn in 3.6 miles. We're gonna be on this thing. Just, just an insane storm. Extremely powerful supercell. Thanks for 25,000 subscribers as well, guys. Not gonna, not gonna talk about it too much because I wish it were on a day where people weren't being impacted by these tornadoes, but thank you for the support. dangerous situation still. Yeah, big debris ball still there. Just moved through Union City. how much of a beast this storm is. Last night we slept in Joplin, Missouri, and now we're in the middle of Ohio. Alright, we're on a basically a direct course to this tornado now.
big lightning on this thing. Holy. Pequa? Pequa? However you say that. I don't know how you say that really, but that's the town we're in now. Thank you for the super chat, AW. Take me a while to get through these little towns here. Man, hopefully this lifts before Dayton. I saw your message on the super chat. Hopefully for you and your family that and everybody that it lifts before it heads into a populated, uh, more populated area. This road is going to be the one we're on for a long time, right up until we get close to this potential tornado that's on the ground. Still observed tornado. Just kidding, we have to turn again. Did I like miss a turn or something? I swear on my, my GPS, it was like get off and you're on one road, but maybe I missed a turn. I'm not paying attention. You guys are just tuning in. We're about to be on a confirmed tornado warn storm, particularly dangerous situation near Union City, heading towards Greenville, Ohio. It's a particularly dangerous situation. Large and confirmed dangerous tornado on the ground. There are some bigger towns around here, unfortunately. lightning on the storm is insane once we get out of, once we get out of town we're gonna be in for a, a light show all the way to the tornado yeah, it's gonna head for the north side of Greenville Lightning's got to be insane. Such an electric storm. Still a debris ball. Still a debris ball on this. Man, it should be pretty visible if we can get to it be a very visible tornado. Alright guys, I'm usually not uh, this dead of a personality, but I've been up for like, I slept like two hours last night. I had to drive literally from Joplin to Ohio. That's about 12 hours, 10 hours, so. Those of you 
first time watching me, usually I'm not this dead. <laughs> so much lightning on the storm though. This is the road. I mean, this is going to take us all the way to where the potential tornado is. Probably be able to meet it, unfortunately, right in Greenville. Get there. Gotta get there before this thing gets to Greenville. Really, really, I mean, whatever, <laughs> whatever. This is how, if you also knew this room, this is how it goes. I get last second yellow and red lights at every stoplight I go to. Thank you, Carter, for the super chat. First, like four hours of the stream, I had like 400 people, and I was like, "Guys, just be patient. I'm telling you, just be patient. I know everyone else is on storms right now, but you just gotta be patient because these ones are gonna be the best ones." Fortunately for the people of Ohio, I was right. I'm, I don't. I didn't even look. Was there any tornadoes in Illinois? I, I seriously haven't had time to look. I'm looking at chat right now. Was there any tornadoes in Illinois? Like actual photo confirmed tornadoes? Because I almost went for the Illinois ones. Greenville. Greenville, you gotta be taking shelter. This tornado's not lifting, I don't think. I'm gonna have to come up with a I'm gonna have to come up with a safe way to intercept. I got hundred miles of gas left, so after this intercept, I'm gonna have to get gas. Probably should have just got gas right there, but I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. A lot of tornadoes in Illinois. Wow, okay. So this was just a tornado day, I guess. I guess it was just a tornado day. St. Louis, okay. I am stepping on the gas, brother. Ready got one on stream? Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Gonna head for the north side of Greenville. Tractor. Man, we <laughs> the world just does not want us to get to this tornado. Wow, big ZG. What? I hope you're just like exaggerating, dude. I hope you are. I hope you're exaggerating, bro.
Yeah, it's about to head to the north side of Greenville. I'm gonna have to come up with a safe way to intercept this because punching the core at night is not exactly a safe way to do it. Might come in from the south side of Greenville if I can somehow. Thank you for the, thank you for the uh, super chat, Lisa, and thank you for joining the Bears Cage. Um, Jersey, appreciate it. Close that chat again. I gotta lock in now. Tornado's gonna be heading right at me. There's gas here. I'll get gas here real quick. I'm just gonna put like 10 bucks in. We gotta get it really quick. Gotta get it really quick. Otherwise we're gonna run out. Gas break. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're just gonna core punch it. We're basically gonna drive straight at the tornado, and then we'll turn around if we don't see it. And we'll get out of get out of harm's way. All the way to Greenville. I mean, we are close to this tornado.
of like Gettysburg. going to be off to the right. That we're probably getting close to being able to see it. This thing looks like it's still on the ground to me. Somewhere directly over here. Sorry guys, no dot. Gotta use I gotta use this airport radar. Apologize, I apologize. Oh, we're basically in the storm. We're right in the path of it. Somewhere over here. view soon I'm just gonna have to turn around it's not worth it I'll turn around I'll have to go south whoa 
was that? Something right ahead of us. Right in front. Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? Big right there. Something big right there. Yeah, there's a tornado on the ground for sure. It's like right in front of us. Get ready to run. Get ready to run and run fast. Coming right at me. Can't see it. I'm gonna call it here in a second. It's not worth it. Ooh, what was that? Be right here.
All right, not feeling this, time to run. No visual. After this semi, we're getting out of here. out of here and we'll, we'll get on it again from behind like we'll hook slice it first I want to let it pass I'm not playing with this thing at night not doing it out of here. If we go like a mile south, we'll be safe. And then we'll shoot back north to the intercept. Be able to see when I turn around right here. I'm gonna do just a U turn right here. Hopefully, we'll see it. If not, we'll keep going a little bit south. Somewhere in here. Who knows where? About to run into Bradford. Somewhere right in here. Should be right there, actually. We're good to go. Keep your eye out for a tornado, though. It's somewhere in there. I mean, it's not a maybe tornado, it's a tornado. Somewhere in there. south of Bradford okay, yeah so it's directly in front of us somewhere somewhere directly in front of us right here directly in front of us is that it so hard to tell 
there, I mean, it, it, it could be right there. It probably is. I don't know if it's condensed. Yeah, it's right there. You can see the base. It's just a matter of where exactly is it touched down or is it just one big mezzo well, now we have a good visual of it so yeah this thing's getting strong it's going into the north side of Bradford right now north side of Bradford right now huge base huge base on this thing probably a big tornado based on radar that is in Bradford right now wow huge Huge base. Huge base. Probably a tornado under there. find a clearing looking for a clearing oh those are good lightning strikes no clearing maybe here on the bridge. It's heading right through Bradford right now. Right here's a good spot. See the tornado. It's heading for Covington next. It's headed for the north side of Covington. This is an observed tornado. I just can't see the I just can't see the base of it. Yep, there it is. There it is. Like it condensed for a second. I'm gonna try and get another better angle further ahead. There's a tornado on the ground in Bradford. Tornado on the ground, Bradford. Bradford, uh, Ohio. Tornado on the ground. I mean, it's already observed, but we just saw it. Or I just saw it at least. I don't know if it showed up on the camera, but it was condensed for a second. Gotta be careful not to get ahead of this tornado. That's not what we want to do. What we want to do is get a good angle somewhere. Is this a good angle? Maybe. Right here. There it is. There it is. 
Yeah, wow, that's big. Might be a wedge. That might be a wedge now. In front of us, I'm gonna try and get a better angle. Again, might be a big wedge. I gotta be careful not to get ahead of it. These trees are these trees are really making it hard for me to get you guys a view without putting us in a dumb spot. Power flash. Right here. Yep, big tornado. Big tornado in progress right now. We're getting out of the car. Big tornado in progress. Bradford. Big tornado in progress. Big tornado right there. Yo, wow. Big tornado on the ground. Power flash! Power flash! Big tornado in progress! Hitting the town! Snow pipe! Power flash! Oh my gosh. Large cone tornado in progress! Wow, fully condensing! It's hitting the town! Big power flash! Good. Big cone. Somebody report this. I give everyone on the stream permission to screenshot and share. Discredit me. Everyone has permission to screenshot and share. Get the word out. Oh, there it is. All right, we're gonna lose visual past the trees. Gonna lose visual past the trees. There it is. There it is, still. Still on the ground. It's gonna cross this, it's gonna cross our road eventually near Covington. We gotta get there. It's gonna cross our road eventually. Sorry, we're gonna lose visual, but it's gonna cross our road and we gotta be there. And this is probably a strong tornado. Big power flashes on this. Tight, tight CC drop. Still on the ground. Still on the ground. Let's get it. Let's get close. Gotta head on the north side of Covington. Still on the ground, I think. Should be off to the left. It'll be off to the left still. It's the big mezzo now. I don't see the cone. Wow, huge CG. Looking for it. This might be a big broad circulation. Doesn't look like it's condensed anymore. Keep an 
eye out. Where is this thing? right in front of us now. Raining, raining tree debris. Across the road in front of us somewhere. Raining tree debris. Man, this car coming this way got lucky. right in front of us. That was a big tornado on the ground. I can't see it anymore. That doesn't mean it's not still on the ground. Very easily could be. But we do not have a visual of it anymore at this point in time. Okay, looks like, based on, re based on radar, it looks like this thing may have lifted. Okay, it looks like it might have lifted. Just going off radar. The circulation has weakened a little bit. Okay, we got emergency vehicles up here. It crossed the tornado crossed to our north. It's gonna stay out of their way. It's gonna stay out of the emergency management's way. I'm not trained in any search and rescue or CPR. I'm not trained in anything like that. So my presence would likely just be a burden. Seems like the emergency crews are already responding. big it's like it might have crossed here or is crossing here big RFD coming through big RFD coming through right it should be way ahead of us now though Yeah, 
still a strong circulation in Pequa. Pequa. The radar indicated tornado now. So the consensus seems to be that it's lifted. Lots of tree damage, just leaves on this road. Thank you for all the super chats. I haven't had time to look much. Good morning is radar indicated. This is still a dangerous storm. This is a very dangerous storm. It's gonna head. Okay, this is staying well north of Dayton, thankfully. But there is a storm that is heading for Dayton with a radar indi indicated tornado warning. So we may drop south to that one, depending on if, uh... wow. Wow. May drop south to that one, depending on if that one looks more uh, intense. This thing is ramping back up, I think, in Piqua. Right in front of us, it's like ramping back up. We gotta get on it, I guess. RFD damage the entire way. Tree damage here. So this is still a dangerous storm, guys. Really dangerous storm, but if you're just tuning in and you've been enjoying the stream, uh, the best way to support me and what I'm doing, which is trying to see tornadoes and warn people about tornadoes, is to just hit that subscribe button. That's the best way you can support me. And then tune in to future streams. The more people, the more word we can get out when we see tornadoes like this. And hopefully, uh, we were able to help the National Weather Service out with their stream or something uh, with our view of one of three or four tornadoes we've seen today. Piqua right now, so hopefully it's not on the ground because uh, Piqua is a bigger town. We went through it once. But next, it's heading for Fletcher. Heading for Fletcher next. This is still a strong mezzo. Tornado is certainly still possible with the storm. Near Piqua. Heading towards Fletcher. I'm gonna head towards Fletcher, I think, and then drop south eventually, back onto it. We still have a tornado warned storm to the south. We got strong RFD right here blowing across the road. Still have a tornado warning to our south as well. What was that? Something just flashed up, up ahead. Something just flashed up ahead. Looked very suspicious. Yeah, I mean, this thing is, the mezzo is still strong on this. It, it's gotta be taken seriously still. Gotta be taken seriously still. There's a cop right behind me.
Strong RFD. <laughs> I would catch this, uh, I would blast through this town a little faster, but I'm gonna, I gotta go the speed limit because it's got the cop behind me, chat. I'm sure he's got bigger things to worry about, but I'm not trying to speed through his town right in front of him. Kind of a, kind of a day, uh, yeah, I guess I shouldn't say that on screen, but kind of a D move. Definitely in a reorganization phase now. Trying to wrap up again though. We'll see if it's able to or not. Worst case, we'll drop south towards the next one. This thing has so much lightning on it. Would not shock me if it produced again. They're a little bit behind now, Chad, not gonna lie. Not that much behind, but definitely a little bit behind. Looks like they put they just put a severe warning on this one instead of a tornado. So I'm gonna follow this one for a little bit. And if they reissue tornado, go for it. Or we can drop south to the other tornado one storm that's heading pretty close to Dayton. Cop keeps following me, bro. Yeah, we're not too far behind this. We can catch it up. We can catch up easily once we're out of town. But he's gotta get out of town and hopefully this cop stops following me. They just put a severe thunderstorm warning out for the storm, so once the storm moves out of its current tornado warning, it's not warned. I mean, it still has the mezzo, it's just broad. Still has a broad mezzo to it. I'm not complaining, but. Better let me through. Should be good to go. Gotta get through a little section of town, but we should be good to catch this one now. Catch this one. Okay, so the tornado warning has also been canceled on the south one. 
tornado warning has been canceled on this on the one heading kind of towards Dayton as well. So we might finally be starting to see things cool down a little bit, chat. Threat is by no means over, but we may finally be starting to see things take a little bit of a chill, chill pill in terms of tornadic activity here, at least around here. There's still three or four tornado warnings, one all the way up by Akron, one by Columbus. But our storms, as of now, the two we're on are not tornado warned, as of now. We're going to keep tracking them. We're going we're gonna to keep tracking them, though, because I, the environment is clearly primed. So I wouldn't be surprised to see these wrap up again. Clearly a primed environment for tornadoes right now. And our storm, as I speak, is, might be ramping back up a little bit. It's got a lightning uptick on it. We're just going to drive into it, basically. See what it's like in there. We'll get into the bear's cage again, Chad, like we were pretty much the first half of the day. Thanks, I didn't realize Piqua was such a big town. I'm glad the tornado lifted, geez. Did hit Bradford and Covington, the north side of those two areas. So hopefully we hear that the damage wasn't too severe. We saw those power flashes there. We did see the power flashes. All right, let's get on it. Last back up to catch this one. Are we on autofocus, bro? Why are we on autofocus? Like, sorry guys, my focus is so bad on this phone. For those of you who are new here, we're about to get a bunch of streaming upgrades, so if you're uh, if you're not not too thrilled about the quality of the stream. Um, because of the focus issues or whatever. Just know that's gonna get fixed shortly, so. But, it, it did, Ah, oh, what? I'm telling you, what did I tell you guys? I said, for those of you who are new here, every single light I go through, I swear, on a, like a highway, turns yellow right when I get to it, and I have to slam on my brakes. It's, it's, it's like clockwork. It is truly like clockwork. charge my streaming phone here all right so we've gotten at least three or four tornadoes today I mean hopefully we've been able to get good warning out I know our stream is being used by several people including mr. Evan Freiberger and max velocity so hopefully our visual confirmation of these tornadoes has helped them warn people as well as just our stream warning people We're gonna get back in this. We're a little bit behind if you look on our radar in the bottom right hand corner, but it shouldn't take us long to catch up. This is a pretty main road. back in the RFD, just like that. You guys are just tuning in. We're catching up to a storm that just produced a tornado in front of us literally like not long ago.
so many damage reports. Not good. get closer again and this thing might be ramping back up might be right oh holy what was that what was that what in the world did we almost just drive into it was like metal all right I guess we're gonna be a little more careful on this road Tornado warned again. Our storm is tornado warned again. We gotta get on it. Storm is tornado warned again. Turn green, turn green, turn green. Turn green. Green. Come on. Come on. Green. Come on. How is there this long of a red light with no one there in a little town? Thank you. When it's tornado warned again. Ramping back up. Might be producing now, actually. Kind of by our road. get there. Tornado warning. Probably back on the ground, right on this road. Three down right there. 
might be back on the ground right on this road. Trying to get there. It's hard though. I'm a little scared after we almost hit that sign or whatever that was in the road. Yeah, oh my gosh, the tornado might be hitting St. Paris right now. The town just in front of me. Yeah, it could be. Big RFD, wrap it around the back side of this. possible tornado on the left possible tornado on my left right now right now right now oh what's that Might just be a scary looking cloud. I can't confirm nor deny. It's gone already. Back in the rain again. Wow. I don't know what that was, but it was really suspicious. Really suspicious lowering in Miller's, right near Miller, Millerstown, Ohio. Really suspicious. Could be, could have just been a, could have just been a scary looking cloud, but. That was really weird. And it, at, at nighttime, you just can't tell. It's better to err on the side of caution. But there is a tight velocity couplet. Better to err on the side of caution. Again, not saying that that's a tornado. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that was a very suspicious lowering. And it got wrapped in rain really quickly. Thank you for the PS, oh my gosh. PS is, oh my gosh, PS. 
Thank you so much for all the support. That's insane. Once again, I cannot confirm any tornado on the ground, just this very suspicious lowering. Just south of Millerstown. Treat this like it is a tornado. We did see a suspicious lowering. It is tornado warned. Treat it like a tornado if you're in the path. Again, not saying I am not saying that's a confirmed tornado. I cannot tell. Ah, uh, look at that chat. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Every life, bro. Doesn't want us to get the tornado. Doesn't want us to get it. New MD. New MD. Next, next one to two hours, still dealing with the tornado threat with these, according to the new MD. However, we are getting some low-level stabilization, and that could hinder the tornado threat. But it still looks like there's a velocity couplet in front of me here. So it, I, it looks like there's a velocity couplet right in front of me. I'm going to try and get on it, but it's hard. It's heading right into Westville. Right into Westville. Westville, Ohio. towns on this road. I don't think I'm be able to catch it. So many small towns. Yeah, dang man. I'm in Nettleton now, heading towards Westville. Too many small towns for me to catch the storm. Right, it's like right in front of us. But fortunately I don't think I'm be able to catch it. Airport radar does not look as impressive. Airport radar is not very impressive with this circulation. Still radar indicated. this stability can set in fast to just end this tornado threat.
behind him. Stuck in the rain! Can't get out of here! Stuck in the rain! Welcome all new channel members! Big puddles on the side of the road. I'm trying to stay in the middle. You always hide your plane more on the edges of the road. If no one's coming, try and stay close to the middle. Man, I cannot see. about so many casualties from these tornadoes. That's the last thing you want to hear, man. We've got a semi-strong circulation right in front of me. On a normal radar at least. Definitely an up, definitely a middle strong mid-level mezzo. over Westville so I do want to make sure that nothing touched down in Westville.
guys are just tuning in. Right behind a tornado warm supercell near Urbana. Urbana, Ohio. It's an HP mess. There is a mesocyclone right in this area. Just ahead of me. Tornado this storm produced a tornado in front of us about an hour ago. Once again, for all the super chats, okay, I'm not really in a position to be able to read them right now, unfortunately. But just know I appreciate you supporting the channel. Doesn't look like there's any damage here. This is where there was a little couplet, so I was just interested to see. Ended the tornado warning on this. I think it's moving a lot faster now. So I'm struggling to catch it. It's also because I hydroplane whenever I try and go fast, but still, I'm struggling to catch it. brother still a couple tornado warnings back in Indiana as well I mean what a day this turned out to be I knew right away in the morning not to go for that 10 hatch down in Arkansas even though there was a big tornado down there just an hour ago I think maybe less than an hour ago there was a big tornado down in Arkansas too in fact this tornado warned right now but it just looked like the more significant threat this turned out to be a localized, honestly, a, a widespread tornado outbreak. You had tornadoes from Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. So definitely going to be classified as a tornado outbreak. Got another red box in front of us now. Still hunting down this tornado. Still tracking it. Still has a mezzo on it, it's just a little bit weaker. I don't know exactly where the tornado was in Arkansas, but I just know that there was reported damage. Yeah, big broad mezzo on this one still. Still a broad mezzo on our storm. It's definitely fighting the cap, but it's fighting the low level stability coming in here. Been in the RFD for like 30 minutes now and we've almost hit a tree a big sign or something in the middle of the road I still don't know if that was in the middle of the road chat we almost plowed it though going 60 that actually would have been bad that would not have been good for me can't be hitting something when I got 4,000 people in the back seat
trampoline? You think it was a trampoline? Oh, it was a trampoline. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we almost smoked a trampoline. So that would not have been good. Max Velocity will get a kick out of that. Max Velocity will get a kick out of that for sure. likes on the stream wow that's insane that's insane thank you uh, Peter Thank you, Peter, for your uh, PayPal donation. Thank you, Dave Zane, for your PayPal donation. Oh, wait, I probably shouldn't say your full name. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Dave, for your PayPal donation. Thank you, uh, Shampoo. Thank you for your PayPal, or thank you for your Venmo donation, Shampoo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Want to catch up on those real quick. Going through a uh, little town here. See, we would have been we, like, we would already be caught up to this. Like, I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch it. Like, we're getting actually kind of close again, but like, we would easily be caught up to this if there weren't so many of these little towns makes it so hard I mean the good news is is that when this storm tracked through all these little towns there wasn't a tornado on the ground oh my gosh stealthy PS with the 50 gifted are you kidding me are you kidding me W's in the chat what the heck 50 gifted subs that is insane So much for the thank you so much for the channel support, man. Beautiful little Ohio towns. Keep going through here. And I'm just glad that these ones in particular have been spared from the tornadoes. Might have to find a hotel in one of these little towns later on. Oh my gosh. Still can't believe he just gave... He, I, I cannot believe he gifted 50 subs. Look at all the W's. This is insane. I don't, I don't even know how to... I don't know how to feel about it because... Yeah. But thank you so much for the support. Back in the tornado warning again. We got, or I guess we're not, we're in the new tornado warning now. We might be able to meet this in Mechanics, Mechanicsburg? What a weird town name, Mechanicsburg. We might be able to catch up through to Mechanicsburg. guys are just tuning in see all the gifted memberships and the donations and I'll always be grateful for those but the best way to support the channel and keep the chase going keep the keep the streams coming and keep the tornado reports going for those who need it is to simply hit that subscribe button so that's all I can ask for those of you who are watching if you're interested in live storm chasing and have been enjoying the stream and also uh, 
uh, the stream has helped you in any way. Appreciate you hitting that subscribe. I'm still trying to catch up to this one, guys. I'm not giving up. Like, I'm, I'm going to keep trying to catch it. I'm not giving up. Like I need to get on a different road here. Before I get to Mechanicsburg. 23 miles I turn. Not before they don't turn up this light. Yeah, because I mean the mezzo is still strong. Like it still has a mezzo, like. Just in case it drops another one, I'm just gonna keep following it. Even if I don't catch it, I just wanna be there right away, just in case. Oh, where's this road at? Right here. Whoa! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! take us to it. Hopefully I'm able to kind of go a little faster on this road. It's not raining as hard right here. I think I should be able to. So this will take us right to the storm. I think it's right to the mezzo. Pull another hook slice maneuver. Pulled about two or three hook slice maneuvers today. All of them were successful. My, uh, that's my favorite way to chase is the hook slice maneuver. is just insane. It never ends. I mean, these are some of the more powerful storms I've ever chased. These are easily some of the more powerful storms I've ever chased. Oh my gosh, did PS just donate another 100 bomb? Wait, do we have another 50 gifted? Wait, hold on. Do we have a... Did he gift another 50... Oh my gosh, he, he gifted another 50 members? Or is that the, I'm so confused. I don't even know what's going on anymore, but thank you so much. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh my gosh, PS, PS, please stop, PS. Dude, PS. Thank you so much. 
so much for the support today, P.S. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. Thank you, uh... Thank you, thank you, Robert, for the super chat. We're almost caught up to this, actually, so... Outside of that, I'm trying to lock in and not read the chat, but I couldn't ignore a freaking another 50 gifted and a 200 bomb. Like, what is happening? Like, the next, like, three chases are just paid. I don't know. I mean, we're right behind it, but we're not, the problem is we can't see through the rain. This rain is thick. It's like they just issued a severe warning on it. This is heading for Columbus. I'm going to follow this one all the way to Columbus just in case. We'll probably, if I had to guess, wrap it up at Columbus as long as it's not like Tornado one. But I am going to follow this one to Columbus because it's a high population area. And uh, yeah, just to be safe. Don't need this thing doing anything crazy around Columbus. The last thing we need. That is the last thing we need. catching it finally a little bit. I'm just going to put Columbus in my DPS, see what the fastest way is. Yeah, we're going to get on this thing in Columbus, make sure nothing funny happens there. So, again, this is a high population zone, so the storm needs to chill. Still has so much lightning activity on it. Chat, that's back to back days. We've seen uh, tornadoes though. Had a great view of the Kansas one yesterday, and a day later we saw some in Ohio. Kansas to Ohio. What a freaking. What a grind. Shout out to the Red Rocket Ben Williams for waking me up at 7.30. I woke up at my alarm at 6.30 and like fell back asleep. And then like if Ben wouldn't have waken me up or woken me up at 7.30, like I wouldn't even be here right now. So big shout out to the Red Rocket. Number top five ginger, top five ranked ginger storm chaser, Ben Williams. All right, bro. Listen, big dog, I'm not asking for, like, 100, but, like, you can go more than, like, 20. Appreciate you. I mean, he's probably, he's probably psyched out about the tornado warning, so it's, it's whatever. I mean, I would be, too, if I didn't know what was going on. Whoa! More d Dang, that lightning just lit up all the debris in the road, too. That was kind of clutch. That was a clutch lightning bolt. Columbus, you need to be watching this storm closely. 
Um, it has an L. It definitely has a mid-level elevated mezzo, so it's definitely struggling with surface stability. Uh, we have a layer of stable air at the surface, and that hurts tornado genesis. And so uh, it usually comes on at night. Really classic. Uh, and if the, the storm's strong enough, we still get tornadoes like the tornado we saw about an hour ago. But eventually, that nighttime capping. At the Whoa! Flash flood. Eventually, that uh, nighttime stable air wins. And so, hopefully, the nighttime stable air is winning now and will prevent future tornadoes. A little bit of a flash flood on the side of the road there. GPS this way. Once I get through this town, I should be able to actually like go fast and get back on this. Oh, whoa, was that a lightning or a power flash? Uh, that was some weird lightning. I mean, I think it's lightning, but it's a little bit sketchy. Wow. What is going on over there? That, I hope that's lightning. all coming from the same spot over and over again. I think it's lightning, but once again, it just looked a little weird. Yeah, it's lightning, I think. <laughs> I mean, velocity does not support a tornado on the ground right now, so... Most definitely just lightning in the same spot over and over again. Rip me out there for a little second. Lightning on the storm is insane still. wind direction shift. Got a nice wind shift there.
right here. broad mezzo on this. I'm still going to follow it close to Columbus just to make sure, but definitely a, looks a little less uh, intense now. off to my left. Wow, that was close. Wow. That was insane. I can see like an orange glow. That was crazy. Got CGs, but 
the mezzo is pretty weak. So at the highway up here, the highway up here, I'm probably going to stop before I get on it. And we're probably going to wrap things up. I don't really want to get into Columbus. Wow, huge CG. I'm going to have to start heading home. I'll probably have to get a hotel. I don't really want to stay in Columbus because it's too far from home, but I don't really want to drive home either, so I'll probably just get a probably just get a hotel and like I don't even know. We'll see. I don't even know what my plan will be, chat. But I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. the adrenaline's wearing off guys I am so tired for those of you who don't know yesterday I we got the tornado in Kansas on stream another great stream and then we I drove all the way back to Joplin with Ben thinking that I would chase Arkansas and uh, we got back to Ben's at like 2 a.m. I probably fell asleep by 3 a.m. woke up at 6.30-ish. I mean, I probably don't have the time frame exactly right. And then I uh, went back to sleep and then Ben woke me up and I realized, oh wait, I need to go to freaking Ohio. I need to go to Eastern Indiana. So we grinded 10 hours through the day to get here. And it all paid off. Man, you guys are the like you guys are like the best chat ever. Like, we had like so many people in here, and most of the time that I looked in the chat, I wasn't able too much. It was all just good conversation, no drama, no no bull crap. I got you know I got one of the one of the best, if not the best, chasing community on YouTube. I love you guys. I'm grateful for you guys. Deserve to sleep for a week. Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe. Actually didn't have any caffeine chocolate today. highway in like I don't know not too long and then we're gonna end the stream so if you hang around for like another couple minutes I'll be able to like chat with you guys for a little bit before I end the stream
mile. It's weird. I'm like I'm tired, but I'm not gonna be able to sleep for hours just because of like the adrenaline of, the, of like all the tornadoes. So I'm just gonna use that adrenaline to like start driving home. Same with yesterday. Yesterday after the tornado, I was able to like stay up until just oh my gosh, shoot CG. I was able to stay up and get the bends at three in the morning just off of pure chase adrenaline. Seven miles is the highway. Just sit on the side of the highway for a couple minutes and chat. Don't mind me. <laughs> took that took that turn a little bit too sharp. <laughs> Right here is a, oh, look at this big old shoulder for me to just sit and stop on right here. All right, big old shoulder for me to just chill right here, right next to the highway. Oh, probably looks so rough, chat. I don't even care. Thank you guys so much. Probably look terrible. Holy, turn off windshield wipers. Let's 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 look at some chat for a little bit before we wrap things up. Thank you, EF6, for the super chat, brother. Appreciate it. I absolutely killed it today, Conrad. I can't escape the Conrad. Sent it a little too hard. Yeah, I sent, I sent that turn a little bit too hard. But thanks for all the support today, guys. Let me make sure this thing isn't doing anything weird. I don't think it is. Columbus is under severe warning, though. <laughs> little cousin wants to be mod. All right, Carter. Carter, where are you at? I'll make you mod. What's your username? Thank you, Elizabeth, for the 20. Where's Carter? Can I be mod Brittany's corner? No, I'm the only one I'm making mod right now is my little cousin. Where's my little cousin at? Check my Venmo? Okay. Yeah, let me check my, my PayPal Venmo. Let me thank you guys for that real quick. I'm sure I'm falling behind. Thank you, Amy, for the PayPal. Thank you, Reed, for... <laughs> thank you, Reed. Um, I just see a couple. If I miss yours and don't announce it on stream, I'll, I'll send you a thank you text. Thanks for joining the Bears Cage, Dusty. Carter Crafter 5. Carter, type something in the chat, buddy, so I can see your name and just mod you. Type, type something in the chat, Carter. Connor, stop, never stop chasing tornadoes, dude. Reed was in here saying good job today. Awesome, yep. Connor risks his life just to get followers? What? What, what bro? See you tomorrow? I, I probably won't be live tomorrow. I might do a member-only stream tomorrow. Good thing I missed the trampoline is right. Has the cell weakened in Columbus to go to bed comfortably? Um, It's definitely not surface-based at the moment. Uh, it's worn for one-inch hail, 60 mile per inch. The tornado threat with this cell now is very low, so... Mainly just going to be hail, wind, lightning, and thunder for the rest of the night in Columbus. Obviously, you can't rule out some crazy shenanigans, but best mole in the storm chasing community. Heck yeah. Send you some money. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not calm and collected on the inside sometimes. <laughs> Chase next week. I'm not sure. I'll post an update on my community page on what we're doing. Carter Crafter. Oh, okay, there he is. There you go, buddy. Carter. My little cousin's a mod now. 
There you go, Carter. Come on, bro, sleep. Guys, I'm going to sleep. I was just saying thank you. Uh, if I missed any donations, obviously, I'm so grateful for you guys. Uh, looks like we got Sonia. Thank you for the PayPal donation. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Did I miss any? Dave. I think I got Dave. I think I, think I got all of them. But, uh, yeah, thank you for the support, everybody. We gained, like, a crazy amount of subscribers and everything. We're very grateful for you guys. Hopefully, we're able to get the word out on some of these tornadoes. So, um, have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on my next storm chase. Because that was awesome hanging out with all of you guys. Wow, that lightning. It's awesome hanging out with all of you guys. So, have a wonderful rest of your night, everybody. Really? Wait, was that another? Did I miss another one? All right, I think we're good. I think I'm we're all caught up. Like I said, I'll personally uh, DM all of the guys who donated. So, really appreciate it. Thank you, Brady, for the uh, super chat, brother. Great stream in the Ohio. With the great chat. Great to myself. Want to get to huge inspo. Awesome, Brady. Yeah, dude. That's awesome, man. Just full send it, bro. Full send it. You only live once. <laughs> But Howie, I'm not sending I'm not sending you money, bro. Yeah, I saw Santa. <laughs> like what? I saw Santa in here. <laughs> Freaking wild. But uh yeah. Have a wonderful rest of your night, everybody. And I will see you guys. Well, I'm not really sure when I'll see you guys, but I'll, I'll be seeing you guys. <laughs> thank you, mods, thank you, new subs. Never stop chasing everybody.